it's me, Rama, and today I'm demonstrating a simple tail IK system I made for a winged snake, a naga, and this creature actually can go up and down stairs and not, like, have its tail go through the floor. See how I'm adjusting the tail to the slope here, right? And then here it goes back to normal, but then if I'm going up the slope, then look, tail goes back down like that, right? So the one other case that's really important is when the creature is in a corner, tail is going, look, tail goes up. Otherwise the tail will be going right through the back of the wall. And this obviously can't be calculated just with an animation. This has to be done in-game during runtime based on the rotation of the character and checking what's behind the character. I also blend out when the tail is done. See how it blends out? <laughs> it's like he's whisking his tail around. So this calculation... Oh, and it works on landscapes too. Let's go to this hill over here. <laughs> so here we have this nice hill. So look at how this snake looks completely cozy on this slope. See how everything, the tail is completely contoured correctly? Right? You see the occasional sort of stutters so you know when the IK is kicking in. Look at that. See that? It just looks completely cozy on this slope. <laughs> So this IK system uses C++ and the Fabrique animation node. And obviously it's not fully complete, but I was striking a balance between efficiency and also um, accuracy or fidelity, because I'm not really concerned with infinitely accurate in this game that I'm making. I really, it's, I want a lot of creatures, and so I can't worry about each one being perfect. But look at that, you know, for, the amount of uh, calculations that I'm doing, I'm getting a very nice, pretty result that is contoured to the surface of the slopes uh, for a very low cost. And uh, I'm going to show you what the animation blueprint setup looks like for this. I have two fabric nodes in the down case. If they're trying to, if its tail is trying to contour down to the ground, I only use one node for going up. Uh, because that's all I needed. And the Fabrique node does the rest. The reason I have two here is because I want to try to contour the whole tail to a slope. So I'm using two traces, the midpoint and the end of the tail. And uh, then I'm deciding whether I want to use double IK or if I want to use single tail IK. And I'm going to now turn the system off and you'll be able to see it, what it looks like without the IK system and why I had to make it in the first place. Now, look, Tail just goes through stuff, and Tail certainly doesn't go up and down these slopes anymore. It just kind of disappears into the ground. So this is the reason I had to make the IK system in the first place, because without it, Snake just looks kind of silly. <laughs> it's Tail clipping through everything. And so the system for this this is all I have in the animation blueprint. I don't have anything in the event graph because I do it all in code, actually. So I can now show you the C++ code for this. If you go, I'm going to open up my relevant file here. So here's the custom anim instance class. This is extending one of my other custom anim instances, but this is anim instance.h extended, and then I am in code. I am basically during native update animation, I am doing all these calculations that I need to do to know whether the tail needs to go up. And uh, it's actually not that intensive. It really amounts to just two traces, which I have on a timer, actually. So I'll decrease this timer as there's more of these creatures in the level. But uh, it's really not that complex. There's just two tail traces being performed, and the result in game is that the creature, the creature's tail has an awareness of its environment. <laughs> and uh, in case you're curious, two traces um, every 0 0.01 seconds is really not a lot. <laughs> uh, I've done performance strength testing with Physics Engine, and uh, at the PC level, we're doing like hundreds of thousands of traces per tick. So you can, the, trust me, modern, modern games can handle, modern computing can handle two traces for this tail. But the result is that now, and also uh, any foot placement system uses traces too. So 
It's really, it's actually the exact same cost as a foot placement system that's doing two traces, one from the hip down to the foot of each uh, leg of the character. So it's the same exact system, really, in terms of efficiency. And this is the very pleasant, entertaining result. A creature with a tail who looks completely cozy in his terrain. <laughs> He looks, the creature even looks cozy on the stairs. <laughs> so, that was my little demo of Fabrique plus C++ animation instance, together as a team. <laughs> Enjoy!